cigars are like sex. You know, you can do it alone, so it's better with company. All right, well, my name is Abe DeBabner. I'm proprietor of Smoking Cigars, South Florida. Um, we have 12 locations, 11 through South Florida, um, from Vero Beach to Margate. And right now, we're in our headquarters in Boynton Beach, Florida. I think you should expect, uh, overall, a pretty awesome experience. I mean, that's basically what we try to provide here, from being acknowledged to helping them find the cigars they want, to helping them find cigars that they didn't know they want, but they should, probably should try, to having a cocktail, a cappuccino, which we make the best cappuccino. I'm, I'm a little cappuccino snob, so I'm proud of it. No matter what you're in the mood for, you could find it here. If you want a bar-type atmosphere, you can sit at the bar, sit with the girls. We have a little lounge area in between the bar and the registry where you can, you know, sit and hang out. If you want a more traditional cigar shop feel, you can come on this half of the shop. We have the big leatherback chairs and the TVs where you're more like a traditional cigar shop. And if you want to be outside and get some fresh air, we got some wonderful patio seating and sofa seating outside. You can relax. So kind of really kind of accommodates your mood. We've got live music on the weekends and pub poker uh, a couple nights a week. So it stays pretty active in here. 2010, I came up with a kind of an idea to work with some cigar manufacturers and do specific, you know, one-off projects for our store, and we called them micro blend series, kind of like a little micro brewery style with cigars. And the first one we did was Pete Johnson. It was Anarchy. And that was uh, it was released uh, December 10th, I believe, 2010, and that just took off like wildfire. And we worked. We were planning on doing four for our. our, our I believe it was our 15th anniversary, or 10th, yeah, 15th anniversary. We planned on doing four. So we worked with Pete, then we worked with my father, and Padron, and Fuente. That was the first four. And they all went so good that it just kind of kept on going. And this is our ninth installment. It's called Pactum. We made it with uh, Dion of uh, Lugion Cigars, Dion Giolito. And um, we just released it a couple weeks ago. And it's, it's, been, it's the smallest run out of all our micro blends. We only made 400 boxes. And... Um, it's a really, it's, the size is my size personally. It's it's a six by 54, six by 52, but you know, that's about my size, that Toro, fat Toro size. And um, Dion really came up with a great blend. I mean, we had talked about it for a couple of years, never got around to it, and then one day I just got a bundle in the mail, really. And it, the band said handshake. Okay. And um, we smoked them, we all loved them. And I called him up because I thought of you when I blended this cigar, and he, he wanted to name it Handshake. That was his name, right? Yeah. Handshake just <laughs> didn't fly well to me, but you know, you know, you know, his thing about was pretty much how everything in this industry is kind of done on a handshake, and people are pretty much can do big deals in this industry based on a handshake. And him and I have always had a really solid relationship, so Pactum was kind of Latin for deal or right. symbolic of basically the concept he was going for. So we both agreed that Pactum would be it, and it's our nice blend, and it's on the market now. It's doing very good. For our tenth installment, it's going to be with Drew Estate. Yeah, it's going to be called uh, Pope of Greenwich Village. Okay. It's going to be a 6x40 Corona, and um, it'll be released probably in spring, April of next year. But uh, we have a, the Great Smoke, which comes up every year. It's coming up this February, and we have a pre-event dinner, and Drew Estates is the host this year. So everybody who comes to that dinner will be the first people in the country to get a commemorative five-pack of the Pope of Greenwich Village. And the rest of the country will just have to wait till April.